Hello guys, welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video, we're going to talk about yet another error that you can find in Windows. Today, we're going to talk about DLL files. More exactly, we're going to talk about the window.dll file, which can be missing or corrupted in some versions of Windows 10. So as you may know, DLL files are a very important type of file in Windows. So if one DLL file is missing or is corrupted, Windows will not work properly. In this video, I'm going to try to help you solve the problem by showing you a few easy solutions that you can try and hopefully after watching this video your problem will be solved. Firstly, I'm going to present you a dedicated software that can help you solve the problem. The program is called ReImage. It's a very, very good program for DLL files. So what you have to do, you're going to have the download link in the description down below. Just go on there, download it, install it, and then run it. Once you open the program, you're going to see that the program firstly will analyze your system, will search for problems in the stability of the PC, in the security of the PC, and also in the important Windows files. So if the program finds any errors and any problems, will help you fix them. Don't forget that the download link for this program is in the description down below. Also, another method that you can use without any particular program, you can use Windows to fix your problems, especially your DLL problems. You can go to the CMD by clicking on the search button and then type it in here CMD. Right click on command prompt run as administrator and in command prompt we're gonna type SFC space slash scan now. This is a type of scan that you can use in Windows. Uh, Windows will scan the important system files and also will help you fix them. So that's how you can solve the problem, the window.dll problem. And uh, this tutorial is actually working for other types of DLLs. So you can try to do that if you have any other problems or you can check out our other videos. We have a lot of videos covering issues like this in Windows. So I'm hoping after trying all that your problem is solved. So this was the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day.